In this video, you will see a presentation of the Connect 3.0 app. This is what your app looks like when you open it. In the app, you have two menus. One menu to the left side and one to the right. You access the menu either by swiping or by touching. We begin with the menu in the left. To open the left menu, you swipe to the right. Here you see the menu. The first menu item is Contacts. In Contacts, you can see, search for, and add contacts. The contacts listed in the menu are Favorites and VIP contacts. Pull down to Refresh Presence to make sure the presence is up to date. To find the person you want to call, enter the name, number, or initials in the search bar. To add a contact to your contact list, you search for the contact by either name, number, or initials in the search bar. Choose the person you want to make a contact. Here you can see the person's information. Up in the right corner, there's a star you have to click on. As you see, you have different options. By clicking on the top star, you make the person a favorite contact. A favorite contact means that the contacts will appear in your contact list. Besides that, you can choose to make the person a contact, which means that the person is saved as a contact on your Connect 3.0 app and client. This is often used when you want to add an external person. Remember that contacts will not appear in your contact list and you need to search for them when you need to call them. A VIP contact, which means they can call you even if you're in a not available activity. A blocked contact, which means that the person cannot contact you. The next menu item is Me. Here you can see information about yourself and change some of the data fields. You can also take a selfie and upload it as your profile picture. My Team. If you have access to the collaboration module, the next item is My Team. With My Team, you can make video calls and meetings, screen and file sharing, and in general, collaborate on projects and tasks easy and fast with a simple and intuitive user interface. On our website, you can find more information and videos about collaboration and its features. Dialer. In the dialer, you can, as usual, enter a telephone number and call the person and make the call within the app when you have VoIP enabled. Call Lock. The next menu item is the call lock, where you can see your calls, shift between all calls and missed calls. You can also see your inbox. It works as a voice mailbox where you can listen to your recorded calls. Voicemail is a separate menu item where you can see and listen to all your voicemail messages. Under ACD groups, you can see your groups and log in and out of them. To log into an ACD group, you press on the button. To log out, you press the button again. If you are a supervisor, you can supervise from the app. This means that you can log your colleagues in and out of the group. The next menu item is Future Presence. Here you can see your planned activities and you can add future activities. Click on plus and fill out the fields. Then press save. Now the activity will appear in your calendar as a future activity and it will automatically be shown in your activity status at that time. Activity diversions is where you see if there are any active diversions. You can also create activity diversions. At last, you can see and set the settings. Here you can enable VoIP. Finally, we will have a short look at the menu to the right. To access the menu, you need to swipe to the left. In this menu, you can see your activity status and your list of shortcuts of personalized activity types. This was a brief review of the features you'll find in the Connect 3.0 app. To get an in-depth look at the various functions in the app, 
you can watch the other tutorials on the website.